What's the fastest you've ever gone from caring about someone to straight up loathing them? When I was younger I found out one of my childhood friends was stealing from me in the friendship group. Every so often we would lose a phone or iPod then said friend would have conveniently got the same model but beat it up a bit with his initials in Tipex or something stupid. Being a good friend we didn't want to believe it but we started putting distinct markings on our items lo and behold my phone goes missing and he turns up with the same one a few weeks later with the markings. We brought him up on it but he just lost his temper and stormed off. 15 years later he's in prison for armed robbery. Edit. Obligatory. The blew up. Rip in box. We had a friend in our circle who did this with jewelry. She would take cheap things. For example in the 80s everyone had these studier rings in the shape of strawberries or ladybugs. Anyway when you're 10 and someone steals your strawberry earrings everyone just thinks you lost. The monsieur. Including you. Fast forward a few years and all of the moms start missing things. Class ring and other things that were sitting in jewelry boxes for a long time. Our friend is caught by one of the moms wearing her grandmother's antique engagement ring. Thief's mom is called and her stash is fully discovered. She had stolen so much that it's hard to describe it all. I saw a huge pile of dunk kids jewelry interlaced with actual nice mom jewelry. Most everything I had lost over the years was there. It was shocking and heartbreaking. I'm not sure if charges were filed but she was sent to some reform school. 25-ish years later she pops up on Facebook, she's in a ML Monsieur. Asterisk 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 and MLM is a multi-level marketing scheme. Like Amway, which is essentially a scam for bored housewives. A former friend bailed on me when we were supposed to hang out and so I called my then girlfriend to see what she was doing and I could hear him talking to her parents in the background. Having your friend bang your girlfriend and her parents? That's rough. How do you know they like it rough? Are you cheating on Op2? Edit. Thank you for the gold. With his parents. As fast as it took for his wife to call me at work to tell me that he was not only married but had three children including a newborn. That is brutal. Sorry. This was when I was still in my teens many decades ago. It broke my heart until he started stalking me. My art turned to hate quite quickly. Talking to my then GF about her cheating on me. Explaining I could never possibly trust her again. And she replied, but do you really need to trust me? Quote clearly had different ideas on what's required for a healthy relationship. Edit. For context, relationship was six years long. We had been talking about marriage. We owned a dog together. This was the second instance of cheating. This conversation was what pushed me over the edge into the territory of self-respect. Broke up with her the next day. Much happier since greater than, but do you really need to trust me lmao, fuck if that is an honest communication. Like prop store for being open about their feelings, but what the fuck. Uh, I have a two for one deal here. Walking in on my now ex-boyfriend having sex with my ex-best friend in my own room on my birthday. Party. Edit. Since that's a lot of comments to reply to individually. I'm very sorry. Here are some FAQs answered. It was my 19th birthday. I did throw the bed out afterwards just because it reminded me of it daily. When I walked in, I was shocked. Told him that it's over. Kicked both of them out into 2 degrees Celsius weather while they were still half naked. And then did tequila shots with my other non-asshole friends. I don't know what happened to them but I really don't care. It took some time to trust people again but I'm much better now. It's like they got together beforehand and brainstormed as to how they could make it as insulting as possible. One summer back in high school years, I had a crush on this girl and we'd hang out when we weren't working together. A friend of mine would keep insisting that I should just ask her out. So I mustered my courage and asked her out. Yeah, it was a glorious fail. I still remember when she smiled and told me the truth. 
That was when I found out that they had been secretly dating for a year and thought it would be a lark to just fuck with me. 100 to 0 in a few words and a vicious smile. Like that. Except friend kept insisting that I lose my virginity to my boyfriend. Who she was secretly fucking the entire time we dated. And they thought it would be funny if he took my v-card. Friend at a bar tells some people we just met how her mother died. Later in the night I express my sympathy, now she's without parents. She told me hush hush a few years prior about how father had passed. Wait did I tell you back then my dad died? I thought I told you it was my mum. No, both my parents are still alive. When we were in uni asterisk asterisk I just read in a book telling people a parent has died is a good way to get sympathy. Ha ha, asterisk asterisk. Fucking sociopath. What an utter poss. Reminds me of a guy from my school who was in my acting class and he used to pretend to break down and cry then when asked what was wrong would say my mom, dad died and after gathering a fair crowd, he'd laugh it off and say it was a joke. Yeah man hilarious. He did this multiple times with multiple groups of people. I loved, still love, playing Pokemon and I had no female friends with the same interest found out about this group of guys that played it after school. Got really excited and made plans with the monsieur I waited for hours and they never showed up. Next day I overhear my best childhood friend laughing about how annoying I was and that they had to hide from me to play in peace. That really hurt. There was a girl who was the photographer at my wedding. We had been friends for a bit. Being the only female motorcycle riders in our group, I started to get the feeling that she and a few other friends were talking shit on me and my husband. Just weird vibes. FB comments that all seemed to be referencing me. I had just moved to a new state away from these friends and so all of that was very overwhelming. I blocked the friends and went on with my life. A few months later, I made a post on a female group and she commented on it she said she could see I had deleted her. But she hoped I was well. I decided to message her and just say sorry I guess. Well come to find out she was talking shit on me. A lot. And she didn't care because she thought I deserved it. And it was my fault they talked shit on me for being so weird. And it was my fault I left it affect our friendship. Few like that. Haven't spoken to her since. Even when we go back for events with our crew. People who talk shit on other people suck ass. One year friendship with this girl. I invited her over to my new apartment. She came over and wanted to gossip about her co-workers. When she paused, I tried to add into the conversation. Make a joke. Give reassurance. Add a comment, etc but she would immediately raise her voice and start talking over me. I kept getting angrier every time it happened until I was actually loathing her internally. She was so self-absorbed that she didn't notice I went from smiling and engaged to frowning while staring off into space. After two plus hours of not being allowed to talk, I made up an excuse to kick her out of the apartment and then vowed to never see her again. Sounds like one of my current friends only has time to talk about herself. Doesn't care for my opinions unless it somehow contains her. Only asks about my life after she's run out of things to complain about. My ex-girlfriend. We were childhood sweethearts. Dated from 17 to 25. Found out she was cheating on me with her boss. Who was more than twice our age. Then proceeded to find out there was many more occurrences and she was a very different person then. The person I'd been dating. Shattered. I feel so sad reading this. I am truly sorry for you but happy you found out before like 30. Stay strong. The first girl I ever dated died unexpectedly on my then current GF and my 3 year anniversary. My then GF stated she was pissed because my ex had died on purpose that day because it was our anniversary. I was utterly disgusted and it completely changed how I viewed her altogether. Things fell apart shortly after and we broke up. Sounds like your ex's plan worked well. Holy shit that is so horrible of her, hope you're doing better now.
My best friend back in school got a if from the teacher. Me and him asked if we can go to the toilet. I go to the toilet to text a bit with friends from other school. He goes to the parking lot and scratches the teacher's car. School break and the teacher finds his car. We both get called to the director etc etc. Friend said that that we both scratched the car. I showed the teacher my phone to show him I was texting and couldn't have scratches his car. Told friend to fuck off and went out. The benefits of constant texting. First time texting got you out of trouble at school. My, at the time girlfriend, had a little sister. She was graduating from college. And her college was not close by. It was a few states away. And at least a five hours drive. We both loved the sister. But we weren't going to make it to her graduation. We couldn't afford a hotel for the weekend. And we couldn't take off from work to get there on time. She freaked out on us. It was the biggest tantrum I've seen an adult make. My GF and I both assumed it wasn't that big of a deal. But seeing how much her sister freaked out, we reevaluated the situation. So, we packed up quickly, and drove through the night to get there. She told us we could sleep in her apartment that night, but that we'd need to get a hotel the following night. That was fine. We found something online for like $100 per night. We got to her place in record time. It was not even midnight. We felt like heroes for making up so quickly. We get to her apartment and she won't let us in. She says she's already in bed. And we should have gotten there earlier if we wanted to take her up on her offer. So, we're both exhausted. And we have nowhere to stay. I wanted to just turn around and go back home. But my GF was a better person than me. Luckily we had other friends in the city. And one was nice enough to give us their couches for the night. It's been like 15 years. And I assume the sister was getting one last lay with a college hookup. Because I could not imagine any other scenario where she couldn't simply walk down two flights of stairs to open the door for us. I ended up marrying the GF, and still bring up this situation anytime she gets in a fight with her sister. It's usually, I can't believe how selfish my sister is being, and I go, you can't. Remember that time we drove to her college GRA and she cuts me off. Of course she also remembers it, when a college hookup is more important than your sister and her BF who drove 5 hours to meet you co-worker had a dog who she let run free on her property. Said dog liked to chase cars. So it was only a matter of time. And the dog was it. Dog couldn't walk for two days. Was dragging herself around for days after that. We told her to bring her to the vet. And she refused. Because asterisk asterisk it was too expensive asterisk asterisk. We pulled together the money and told her. Bring your damn dog to the vet and she did. The dog's bones in her legs and pelvis were shattered and the dog had no chance of recovering. Coworker finally let the poor thing die peacefully. So anyhow, it was $50 to put this dog to sleep. And since then, every time my coworker spends money on something frivolous and shows us novelty socks, collectibles, an expensive cake, another fucking pet, I think about how she decided bringing comfort to a dying animal wasn't worth paying for. I don't know if I would ever stop hating that person. Hurting animals is non-comprehensive for me. I don't get it. Especially if it's your own dog. Gave my roommate an envelope with a money order for bills in it. To drop in the mail. He got arrested. While looking for some of his documents to take to him I found the opened. Empty envelope in his closet. Peace out. Hey, I was looking for your stuff but all I found was another charge that police compile on top. Found out this girl I was getting close to had been lying about her ex being a deadbeat dad and well. Her ex. He wasn't just still in the picture. They lived together. I should have guessed after the third or fourth time she made an excuse not to go to her place. Never ended something so quick. Did we date the same woman? Did she live with you? Because if so, then maybe. Our, no top boot hope. When he straight up denied my existence in front of his friends. 
I had a lunch shift in high school where I knew absolutely no one but my brother. He absolutely denied all knowledge of who I was. Even after the people he was with knew I was his brother. It was super fucking awkward. Eventually I made friends with some classmates and sat with them monsieur. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.